This is the voice button. This is where you make all your voice commands. The reason why we call it the voice button, as you can see, it looks like a person talking. There's the eyeball, the mouth, and then the sound waves. When you push it forward, she'll come on asking what your voice command is. Please say a command. Next, we have is the hang up and answer button. To hang up a phone call, say you're on a call with Susie Q and you want to hang up the call. See how it's a phone symbol with the arrow going down? You just push this. As you push it, the screen will say call ended. To answer the phone call, see how the phone looks like it's going upwards as if you're picking up the call for Susie Q. You just click it and it'll answer the phone. If you have the home screen, button on your steering wheel. This is what will take you to your home screen on your MyTouch system. When you push this, it'll take you to the four corner shortcut area. And then I, I always say I for information. This I button will take you to either your sync services, your uh, serious travel link, and your alerts and calendar. This up here, if you do not have the second screen right here on your vehicle, this means this is your media area. So you have the M for media button. What the M will do is do a random shuffle between your presets on the radio, the Sirius, your Bluetooth audio, your auxiliary. You also have your volume. This is the minus to decrease your volume, the plus to increase your volume to your radio. It also, if you're talking on the phone, for example with Susie Q, if she's a quiet talker, you can turn her up you can turn her down. And then here's your seek or scan for your CDs or for the radio as well. The first thing we're going to do is connect your phone to the MyTouch system. What you're going to do first is locate your Bluetooth in your cell phone. Most of them are always going to be in a settings area or a My Tools area. So you click on your settings. Mine's pretty easy because this is the iPhone 5. It'll have Bluetooth located right here and you will click on it. On other phones, example the droids, it will be under wireless and connections and you'll click on that and that's where your Bluetooth is located. So now we're going to click on my Bluetooth. We're going to make sure we turn it on. Now the next step is to go to your My Touch screen. Now on your My Touch screen, you'll have four different categories. The yellow means your phone, the green means your navigation, the blue means your climate, and the red means your entertainment. So we're gonna pair the phone, so we're just gonna click on this button that says add phone. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. You will not have the same numbers that show up on this screen on your screen. They will always be different numbers. That is a good thing. When the numbers show up, You'll go back to where your cell phone is. You'll go to your cell phone and you'll click on the sync right here. See how it loaded up when my Bluetooth was searching for new devices. So now I'm going to click on sync. Confirm that the pin She's going to ask me that this is the pin displayed on your device. She's going to ask me now that if these numbers are the same. We look at the screen, we'll look at the cell phone and we'll just push pair. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Sync has connected your phone and is reminding you that 911 assist is set to off. So now we're going to turn the 911 assist on and we'll explain that later. Yes, we want to download our phone book, so we push yes. And we're going to push OK for our voicemail number. What will happen on a droid phone is on your screen on the cell phone will pop up and ask to allow to download the phone book. Before you push OK, push always allow and then push OK for a droid user. So now we just wait for the screen to say downloading complete. So now that our phone book is downloaded, we're going to click this back arrow right here. I'm going to go through the phone menu first with you. So first off, we have our phone. This is where you can push the numbers if you wanted to call a number that's not in your contact list and you can type it in and push dial. Now keep in mind you can also push the voice button, say the word dial, she'll ask you what the number is, you will tell her the number and then say dial and we'll practice that later. Next you have quick dial. Quick dial is kind of like your speed dial on your cell phone. You can add in up to 10 numbers 
to be in your speed dial area. Phone book. What phone book is, is all your contacts from your cell phone. So say if tomorrow you add 10 new numbers into your cell phone contact list. When you get in the car and start the ignition, they'll automatically upload to your MyTouch system. They'll automatically upload to your MyTouch system. If you delete, if you edit, it'll also change as well. You just need to change it into your cell phone. On your phone book contact list, you see right now it has A's. Right here where it says A to F, if I click on this, it's going to take me now to my B's. And if I clicked on it again, it'll take me to my C's and so on. You can also scroll down where you see the scroll area here and you can touch it. And it'll go down as well. Next we have is history. This is your phone book history, just like in your cell phone. It's going to show your incoming, your outgoing, and your missed. So say if I wanted to see just my missed calls, I'll click over here on missed and it'll let me see all my missed calls. You can also click on one and push dial. Or you can click on one and save it to your quick dial as well. Messaging. Messaging is only compatible with certain phones. The reason why is this is a Microsoft system. Each phone has different software capabilities. For example, I am using an iPhone as we speak. My iPhone is an Apple product. It is actually not uh, software compatible. It has to have the map function. So keep that in mind when you have your cell phone that it may not work with the messaging. If it did work with the messaging, all would happen is if a text message showed up, I would just push my voice button and say listen to new text message. It also can send pre-written text messages for you. Next we're going to go into settings. Settings is originally where we did to pair our phone book. Now you can see it says Bluetooth devices here. On here when you click it, you can see that that's where your phone is and you can see that it is paired and that I am favored because I am the primary driver. If I had added a second phone, it can only do one phone at a time. So for example, me, Danielle, and say for example my husband Jeff was here and I'm the primary driver. If I get in the car by myself, it'll hook up to me. If Jeff gets into the car, it'll hook up to his cell phone if he's in here by himself. If we both get into the car at the same time, it is only going to connect to the favorite person first. It cannot connect to two people at the same time. So keep that in mind. So if you want your significant other, if they're not the primary driver, phone to connect, you can just click on it and then push connect right here if you wanted them to be connected instead of you. You can also just turn your Bluetooth off and it will automatically go to them as well. Now, say you haven't paired up your significant other or family member or friend's phone up yet and you want to. All you have to do is just again make sure their Bluetooth is on and you will just go into the phone area, the yellow, click on settings, push Bluetooth devices, and then add device. When we do that, again, search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found numbers will pop up. When those numbers pop up, that means the sync system, the MyTouch, has disconnected your phone so that it could connect the new phone. Then again, the number has changed. That is normal. Keep in mind, you do not need to be in the phone section in uh, order to push the voice button. You can just be in your home screen as well and voice button will always work. Please say a command. Dial. Start saying a phone number 305312. Say dial, delete, or continue speaking the digits. Dial. Dialing. Now, it'll start ringing through your speakers. If you don't hear it well, you can just turn up the volume either here or, like I showed you earlier, onto your steering wheel. Say you are done talking to the person, you just push this button right here and it'll say call ended on your screen. So now I'm going to click on phone book here. Now remember as I told you earlier, all your contacts are in the phone book area. Now, if we want to call someone, like I told you earlier, you can click on the button right here and you can push dial. 
but there's an easier way. You can actually use the voice button with this. So we're gonna go to our home screen, say as if we were driving. Now I'm going to push the voice button to make a phone call. So I push the voice button. Please say a command. Call Jeff Fisher Hubby. Call Jeff Fisher Hubby on other, at work or on cell. Cell. Calling Jeff Fisher Hubby on cell. Now, keep in mind, if you put in a home and a cell in your cell phone phone book, she will ask you when you push the voice button if you wanted it on cell or on home. So keep in mind to edit your phone book correctly. So now say if you're listening to the radio, you can actually still get a call through and you can still make calls. It doesn't matter which section you are, from the climate to the navigation to the radio, you can still make and receive calls. For example, as you can hear, you can hear a ring through the car speakers. Now you can either choose to reject the call or choose to accept the call. You can either push the hang up button on your steering wheel or the answer button on your steering wheel or as well on the touch screen as you can see. Now I'm going to answer the phone right here where it shows the phone symbol as if I'm picking it up. And then you just start talking. Next, we're gonna go back to our home screen right here. As I said before, you have your phone, your navigation, your climate, and your entertainment. Now, on your phone section, this is a little shortcut area. You can see the do not disturb. When I click on it, it's going to light up. This means that your, a person, if they're calling you, is going to go to your voicemail. That way, if you don't want to answer or talk to anyone, that is capable for you. I'm going to click off of it now. So now, people can call me and I'll be able to answer and they'll be able to get through. Next, you'll see my cell phone signal. This is a signal that's on my cell phone. I now also have my battery life. Tells me how well my battery is charged on my cell phone. And then there is 91 assist that shows that is on. If you have a red X on it, you will need to go to where the 911 assist needs to be turned on. What 911 one assist is, is say if you ever get in a car accident, immediately when those airbags deploy, it sends a signal through Bluetooth. It'll call 911. It's as if you had dialed it, but the car called it for you in the middle of the accident. So again, when the airbags deploy, it's already calling 911. What will happen then is the operator will come through your car speakers and start speaking to you. It is a free service no charge from Sync or Ford. It's free for life. I always tell everybody it's great to have on. It's safety and it helps anyone that's in an accident. Now, if you get a bumper to bumper or hit a trash can, it's not going to call 911. It's only if you're in a big enough accident where the airbags deploy is when it will call 911.